All right, so we are ready to fill in the identity design worksheet that breaks down your logo, your graphic elements, all your colors, and CMYK, and all that jazz. Um, so you should have already designed your logo. You should have already plugged all of that logo information onto business card, which you see on the left-hand side of my screen. Um, and now we're ready to plug all of this information into this worksheet. Um, so the first thing we need to do is put your logo in this space right here. So over here on my page, I've got my logo design. So I'm just going to drag a lasso around everything, copy, and paste it right onto this page. And I can just drag it right over here. Now some of you may need to resize your logo. Mine's a little bit big, so I'm just going to tweak it a little bit to make it a little smaller. Okay, so there's my logo. Now your graphic elements, it's everything that's not text. So in this case, it's my dancer in the center. So I'm just gonna copy that dancer and paste it over here in the graphic elements section. Now the business card information, that's all this information and this information. So what I can do is simply just copy that text box place it down there. I'm going to left align it because it's no longer on my business card and then come back over to my business card section and take that other information as well. Now one other thing I want you guys to notice is we've got these social media icons right here. So I found a website that made social media icons for free, downloaded them, so that way I didn't have to draw them myself, change the color so it matched my color scheme, and I can use them in my logo. But since they are objects or graphic elements, they belong up here on this worksheet. So they're going to stay up there with my dancer. Now finally, we've got two more things to do to fill in this project with. Um, finally, we have to fill in our colors. So we've used black, red, and white. So we're going to fill this first circle with black the second circle with the red we used and we'll leave that third circle white and we just have to label it black red and white okay now CMYK these numbers are what makes up this color so what we're gonna need to do is go into your color picker to find out what those colors are so if you just double click the swatch here's your CMYK colors right here so my C is 0, 0, 0, 100. So that one's easy. 0, 0, 0, 100. Now my red isn't going to be so easy. My red, and I'm erasing this stuff because it's left over from another project. My red is 0, 100, 100, 0. Okay, so you got to remember a couple other numbers. 0, 100, 100 and 0. Now the CMYK, they're an acronym for cyan, magenta, yellow, black. It's the four colors that when you mix 100% of the black and 0% of the other three colors, you get black. If you mix 0% cyan, 100 magenta, 100% yellow, and 0% black, you get red. So it's the little equation um, that you can, or recipe you get, you add all that together and that's the color you get. Okay, and then we're just gonna double check my white. So white is zero, 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 zero. I don't know why I have a five down there, but we'll change that. And then finally, we just have to tell me what fonts you used for your logo. So I used all the same font. Uh, so just by clicking on that up in your format bar, it tells you what font style it is. So all I'm going to do is come down here, I'm going to copy a piece of font, and I'm going to actually type the name of the font in the font style I'm talking about. So it's Gloucester MT Extra Condensed. Okay, once you've done that, Make sure your name is typed at the top and go ahead and print that out, okay? Now we need to print out this page, your logo, as well as your business card 
staple them all together, and then that's what you're going to hand in to me for a grade. Great job, you guys.